everyone, it's Alison from DigiTeach. Um, if this is the first time on my channel, would you please leave me a little like and subscribe? Like that, you'll get all the latest and the hot goss where it comes to anything to do with uh, learning and teaching online. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Palfish. Now, I was an official judge for a uh, picture book uh, contest for Palfish earlier in the summer, this summer. Um, I am actually an award-winning children's book author as well as a teacher and a business owner and, you know, a few things like that. And they asked me if I would be a judge. And one of the things I found absolutely amazing about being a judge for Palfish was the the sheer um, preparation and dedication that the children and the parents are put into um, the contest, really. But I'm not, I'm actually doing another complete video on all of that with some brilliant uh, footage uh, because it was just, uh, it was simply amazing. It was the hardest, the hardest competition to judge because. They were amazing. They're, all of the children were amazing. From the costumes to the props, it was amazing. Anyway, all about that later. But what I wanted to show um, you is if you weren't already uh, teaching independently for yourself or you don't have your own teaching business yet, um, Powerfish is quite a nice uh, company to work with. Um, as are lots of them. And I'm gonna leave a little link below to a blog post that I wrote comparing iTutor or Tutor ABC, uh, Palfish and UU ABC because I have worked for all of them and I think they're really good companies. Um, but one thing that's quite unique with Palfish that all the other companies actually don't have is their, um, they're welcoming to teachers engaging directly with their students and which is quite unusual. And I'm gonna show you that here. I've still got a test, like a test account that I have for Palfish. Um, now you can do something called, uh, let me go back here now, where is it? You can have something, so basically this is like your account already. As you can see, it's set up pretty much like a phone. <laughs> and actually that's because with Palfish you can only teach either through uh, your phone. I have to say um, iPhone is generally better than Android uh, for Palfish or an iPad and it has to be kind of one of the latest iPads because otherwise the platform and the software just doesn't just doesn't work and you just get thrown out of the class that sort of thing. Um, but what so that's really great because you it makes it kind of quite versatile if you're traveling um, You're moving from country to country or you've got a lifestyle as such that it's more convenient for you To teach through kind of something like this or this rather than having the full computer and the virtual classroom and and what have you So if you're just getting used or just getting new uh, Newly started to teaching or you're kind of moving around a lot palfish is really very good um, so, okay, so the next thing is they've got this thing called Moments, um, and I've kind of got a few of mine in here um, from kind of when I, you know, from classes and things I've done in England, but they actually encourage you to post pictures of yourself, of your family, of your friends, what you're doing, and also you can, like, record videos, like, this is, uh, this is kind of one of mine um, from... <laughs> back in the day with my wonderful robot and everything else um, and um, I kind of recorded like a little recording as well with it. That's quite unique. Why this is important is because um, they, you like the students and the parents can contact you directly within the Palfish platform. So if you've got like, I don't know, 100 students or 10 students or how many students you've got, and you open up your schedule, and their schedule is even quite cool as well. You can open up the schedule, you know, like this. You can open permanent slots, that kind of thing. Um, then if you've kind of got the Monday and the Tuesday between, I don't know, 10 and 12 open, 
and the parents really like you or the child, the child student really likes you, they can actually directly message you and go, oh, hi, teacher, we've had a lesson with you or we really liked our trial lesson with you. Can you open up such and such a day? And that sometimes that little bit of communication, which you certainly don't get with Tutor ABC, is actually forbidden to communicate with the parents or the students. And it's the same with, um, with UU ABC as well and quite a few companies. So I thought that's quite unique. So that's one thing I quite liked. I think it, it does encourage uh, uh, building a positive relationship, as you would do in your own business with my own private students, um, when I teach in French, I have that kind of relationship with the parents and uh, the students in that they can message me, obviously, with the parents, that type of thing. And I think it really, really helps because that is what personalises the service. That is kind of one of the things parents like. They don't want to be locked into such a rigid um, timetable. If you're a parent with children, anything and everything happens and everything changes and one day they're doing this, one day they're doing something else or I don't know. So they like that flexibility. So that's really good. Now, if you always have to go through such a formulized system, then it makes it very difficult for them to contact you and, and to receive that service. And I don't think people mind paying a little bit more for that. The other thing I really liked as well is that, um, I'm going to show this to you, um, they've got something called a live hall. So you've, they've got their general lessons, which obviously I can't show you on here, but they've got their general lessons, which are run by Pearson, and it is a really quite a good interactive platform. Um, it's not kind of like a PowerPoint slide and read through it and read through it. You can actually, I don't know if I've got any pictures on here, but you can actually um, put filters on your face and filters on the student as well, very much like Snapchat. Um, so that's really fun. Um, you know, if you're like, oh, let's be monkeys, you can literally turn the whole of your face into a monkey and they can too. So that's really fun. The other thing um, they have as well is this thing called a live haul. <laughs> <laughs> it's a live haul and all of these people are doing oh all of these people are doing things which they call a live I'm going to click on one now there's one here now that's live and this can be literally about anything and everything this as long as it's in English and obviously as long as it's appropriate you literally do a live so if you've ever done like a Facebook live or um, video message, that type of thing. It's pretty much the same thing. So you literally switch, you book your live hall, you switch on your device, oh, and you literally go into, let's see if we can go in there, you literally go into the classroom, into the lives, so we're connecting. Just make sure my mic's turned off <laughs> on here. And then you'll get to see Dylan 100. I mean, I was eating a hot dog and eating my breakfast in the beginning. Hot dogs. <laughs> Just like doing, doing errands. I don't think he can hear me. <laughs> Dylan, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> it, was, it was fun. You know, I had this one. I, um, Jenny. Jenny is the real MVP of the show. She was with me the whole time. You're the real MVP, MVP, Jenny. I don't know if you're still watching, okay. but like, you're the real MVP. Okay, so I want to leave that now. As you can see, that was really quite casual. So it's not always formalized because the other thing with Palfish is that you can teach adults as well as um, children. Now, the idea behind the live hall is that you can either do them completely free, so you don't charge people, and it's a teacher that decides. And um, if you do that, they give you this thing called lucky money, where they just pledge you money on the screen, like they've got a button and they can go, oh, give you however many, um, you know, wow, whatever. And, um, or you can set a price. So if it's something a bit more structured, like, um, like an actual lecture, um, then you can have, uh, you can have, you know, you can charge. And just to give you an idea, look, you've got some people here, they've got, um, they've got something on, They've got something here, 309 people have enrolled and they charged 
a 188 you know so and so every so once you do it once then it goes on replay it's kind of you get a royalty so now I'm going to show you also another interesting feature with Palfish teaching with Palfish is that you can actually uh, create your own seminars and um, sell them through the platform and actually teach them through the platform and set your own price which is again is really unique I haven't come across another teaching platform actually that does this yet I mean you know teaching English I mean through a big platform so how it works is basically through your iPad you go on keynote and you create keynote is like the um, kind of the OS version of PowerPoint you create your slides then what happens is I'll just see if I can find an old one here. Okay, then you set your price, okay, and Palfish will take a commission. Now, this can be on anything. This could be something like idioms. This could be better business English. This could be VIP adult conversational English. This could be IELTS, a certain level of IELTS. It can be anything. Um, so I've got one here. This is an old one. So this was VIP English. So I charged a 705 Chinese one. And it basically goes like this. Um, you create your slides. So when it comes to the seminar, you appear up in the corner here. Um, you know, your camera, the cl their clients can't see you, but you can see them. And they pre, obviously they pay for the course. So if it's going to be 10 lessons then, or five lessons, you decide. The only thing, obviously, Palfish have to, they look at all of these, obviously, and before they allow you to do it um, and check them. I've kind of had all, I've never had mine not okayed. So, um, you know, that's another thing. That's quite sweet really quite nice the other thing and also you can do then that can you can kind of get private clients from that as well so it's quite interesting with private like one-to-one -one lessons the other thing you can do is they've got this thing called voice tutoring so it's not just for teaching children or adults like we've just seen but they you can do this like voice tutoring so you hit a button up on the top and um, then it's kind of like you're on call to take voice lessons. And it can be about anything that you're, li it would just be like, it will call, uh, like a video call, and then you just talk, and then you set your rate for that. So it, there is really quite a lot, really. So I thought that was kind of quite nice to, um, to show you. The other thing, you can actually um, mark and record picture books. Um, you're not necessarily paid through that, but if you want to get students, that's kind of quite a good way to do it with Palfish. They've got this app, let's find it, um, Palfish Reading. Um, so this is what the students, this is what the students have to practice. So for example, this one is on phonics. Okay, this one is on phonics. You will go to a certain level. And you will just look at the um, you will look at the um, at the pages, and you will just read. You will record into the app and record what needs to be said um, because you're set in the standard of pronunciation. And then the student will just go on to it and read it, and again um, practice from your accent. Basically, that's what it's for. And um, you can post these into your moments, which is what I showed you earlier, your kind of like virtual internal social media thing. The other thing with um, Palfish is that they actually encourage you to share things on Facebook and WeChat. Um, and if you bring clients from or students from outside into Palfish, through those means, you kind of get like little bonuses, kind of monetary bonuses, I don't know what they are now, but um, I thought that was really, I think that's really quite different. So there's a few things. You have to earn quite a, you have to do a lot of hours with Palfish to earn a decent amount of money though. I, I do think that's kind of fair to say. I'm gonna try and find, they have this thing called an official score. Okay, so obviously I haven't done any lessons for them for absolute yonks, so I'm level one. This is how it works. Every single month, everybody starts at level one. Can you see that? 
So here, right, there we go. Everyone starts at level one, okay? Everyone starts at level one, and the more hours you do, the higher your rate. I don't know if you can see that, the higher your rate. So it starts at 55 um, a lesson, and it goes up to 75. And if you open up the prime times, we all know what the prime times are, uh, six till now nine, or six till 10, but six till uh, nine weekdays, you get uh, double points. So, and you have to open a minimum of seven slots so that'd be seven lessons, seven 25 minute lessons, or seven 30 minute lessons really, um, in peak hours. Um, so there you go, that's that's kind of uh, my kind of little uh, back to back on Palfish because lots of people don't say much about all the different things that you can do in Palfish. It's actually quite, it's quite an interesting little app really. Um, when I was, you know, doing a few lessons for them, it's quite enjoyable. Anyway, I'm obviously going to leave a blog post below, as I said, with um, Tutor ABC, Ooh ABC, and Palfish, and I am going to leave codes in there. So if you want that, you can hit apply now and go directly to the platform. Um, the other thing, actually, about interviewing for Palfish is unlike quite a few platforms where it can take a long time and you wait to be interviewed, you wait for this, you wait for that, you submit your application. They book you an interview and you literally go into, I don't know if I can get access to that. You, you literally go into the class, go into a classroom. It's an empty classroom. And um, let's see. And you literally do a lesson as if, as if there was a child in there. You, there's no one in there. But the lesson's recorded. They review the lesson and... Um, they review the lesson and um, and that's it really. So it's quite interesting. I don't know, I don't think I can go in there um, because I don't have anything obviously booked. So I can't, don't think, I can't go in there. I can't go into the classroom to show you. But anyway, if you were interested in Palfish, that would be, you know, kind of my two cents worth. I hope it's useful. Anyway, speak to you soon. Take care, everybody. Uh, keep it digital. Keep it real. Goodbye.